Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will know what a function is. What is a function? If we have two equations like that, y equals x plus 1 and y squared equals x plus 1. Which of these is called a function? If we have here x equals 3, so we substitute with the value of x in this equation, so we get y equals 3 plus 1, so y equals 4. So we conclude when x equals 3, y equals 4. But here, y squared equals x plus 1. If x equals 3, Substitute to this value in the equation here, we get y squared equals 3 plus 1 equals 4. So y squared equals 4. So the value of y is root 4. So y may equal positive or negative 2. Then we conclude if x equals 3 then y equals positive 2 or negative 2. Here we have two values of y and just one value of x. But here we have value of x and a value of y, only one value. This is called a function and this is not a function. So, this is a function and this is not a function. So, when we substitute with x, and x is only one value, and we get two values here of y, this is not a function. So, we get the point now. We shall express this in the Venn diagram in order to know some terms which are related to the function. So if we have the set of x and the set of y, the set of x contains three elements, 1, 2, and 3. And the set of y contains four elements, 4, 5, 6, and 7. They are two sets. From the previous example, we took the value of or we may type another function, for example, y equals x plus 3. So in this function, if we take the 3 and substitute with it in the function, we get y equals 3 plus 3, we get 6. What if we use the 2? It would be 2 plus 3, which is 5. So 2 and 5. If we use a 2, we get a 5. If you use a 3, you get a 6. If you get um, a 4, for example, y equals 4, so x will equal 1. 1 plus 3 gets a 4. So when you use a 1, you get a 4. Now, every element in x has only one image in y. The image is the result of the equation. Every element in x has only one image in y. This is the function. This is called a relation. So, here there is a very important point that we have to know is every function is a relation. But, not every relation is a function. What does this mean? We said that every element in X has only one image in Y. This is called a function. 
So this function in the relation, there is a relation between x and y, and this type of relation is every element in x has only one image in y. But what if the 3 has two images in y? For example, the 3 has an image of 6 and 7. So here, this is not a function, because the element 3 has two images, and uh, there must be only one image for each element in order to consider this as a function. But this is called a relation. So this is the difference between the relation and the function. Now we return to the function. We have f of x equals x plus 3. We refer to the y as f of x, f of x. And in order to refer to the function in other ways, we say that f is a function from x to y. f is a function from x to y. So, this is a function. This is how we express the function. But, what if we say f is a function from y to x? Does this express this diagram f is a function from y to x. So let's see. Here, the 4 has an image of 1, 5 has an image of 2, and 6 has an image of 3, but 7 doesn't have any image. This is not considered as a function, because in the function, the set from which the relation goes, it's Every element must have an image in the corresponding set. So, the 7 here doesn't have an image, and so this is not considered as a function. So, this is wrong. We said it like that. So, what is the set of x called, and what is the set of y called, and what is the set of these images called? The set of x is called the domain of the function. So the domain of the function is the set in which every element has an image in the corresponding set. And the corresponding set, which is the y, is called the codomain. The codomain. So the codomain here contains another set, which is called the range. The 4, 5, and 6 are called the range. The range is a set of images of the domain, and the range is always a subset of the codomain. So, x is called the domain, y is called the codomain, and the range is the set of images of the domain in the codomain. So this is what a function is. This is what a function is. And the next time we will know how to distinguish between curves in the Cartesian product or the xy axis in order to know what curve is a function and what curve is not a function from what we have said today, and until next time, I thank you for watching and see you.